Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here. Got the final sneaker video right here for you guys with the translucent soles. Took me three videos to get through all these, but I wanted to keep them separate uh, with, the, with the Jordans in the front two rows, the foam pods into the middle two rows, and then the miscellaneous kicks that I'm going to get to here in just a second. Um, man, this has just been a crazy pro project for me to work on, and it, it took a lot of effort, um, to be quite honest, because I had a, to find all, all of the shoes that I remember in my collection that had translucent soles and I was just to pick out one shoe and of course I was trying to just pick out the left or the right I think it was just the right shoe on every single one of them and uh, it got disastrous after I started doing some stuff I realized I missed two or three shoes here and there and I was like dang it I, I need to go get x y or z shoes and uh, but yeah man if you guys appreciate this video of this collection please hit that thumbs up button and uh, if you guys like it's pretty original um, in it, its own right I guess because not too many people are going to take the time to do this but if they do uh, if you guys do like it uh, maybe share it with with uh, people on Twitter or whatever, and uh, let them see this video if, if they get an opportunity. But this is pretty crazy for myself to be able to pull all these out and uh, and have them all together. Um, you know, it's one of those things people always say, like, sneakers, uh, they're just sneakers or whatever. You know, you always hear people say, oh, they're just sneakers. And, you know, what? can I understand the the mentality behind that they're, of, of shoes just being sneakers? Yeah, they're just things you put on your feet. They're just things you wear. But for somebody like myself, it is a lifestyle, and it's not like something that, I mean, at the end of the day, if my sneakers were gone tomorrow, I'd still be the same person I am today, and I, and I pride myself on that. Um, my sneakers don't control me and and uh, and the person that I am, but at the same time, I'm extremely passionate about them, and they're not just sneakers to me. It's, 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 it's kind of a way of life, and it's something that, that I definitely want to have a, a long-term goal um, of a career in, and... And I think that, um, you know, I, I want to be at Nike and I want to be able to, to help um, with the releases of new, new products that are coming out uh, in the future that, that they could really, really, like, use some of my insight for and, and hopefully it could help them um, in producing some, some cool stuff. And, I mean, I live close to headquarters. It's kind of one of my dream goals is to just get on headquarters and, and start working there. Um, and uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So it's not just sneakers to me. Enough of that, I guess, little spiel. But... Um, Man, it is definitely a lifestyle, and, and this taking the time to make this video <laughs> uh, it just shows me that that I'm definitely dedicated to it. Um, and I, sometimes you need a um, like like a awakening, you know. And this kind of did it for myself. Um, definitely, how fortunate I've been to be able to get a lot of these releases, and for one, but for two, it just it's just fun, man. It's just fun to be able to pull them all out and look at all of them um, next to each other. Um, but if I can ask you guys to, to maybe uh, like this video, share it with some friends, etc., um, it would help me out a lot. This this video took me a long time uh, to uh, to put together. Maybe share it with some blogs. Kicks on fire, nice kicks. Love those blogs. Um, and man, yeah, just share them if, if you guys appreciate it. Because it took, like I said, it took a lot of effort to get all these shoes together. And remember which ones in the collection had translucent style shoes or soles, etc. Uh, because I couldn't really remember which all of them and it just, it just took a lot of effort anyway let's get to the last section if you didn't see the the first two videos i did the first two um sections right here already on those ones now we're moving back to the very back and looking at the rest of this ki uh, the kicks in the collection here that have translucent soles um i said translucent instead of clear because you have s situations like this where they're not translucent they're glow in the dark and then you see the milky color there i'll get you guys a look so you guys know which shoes are here I know they're upside down. I know it's confusing, but uh, this is what we got to work with. And I put two of these in. I have obviously like six of these or so in my collection, maybe seven. I only used two of them because I, I didn't want to grab all of the 180s. I just got lazy at this point. Um, let's start up over here. Obviously, we have my Big Bangs, Customs, Black History Months. Love that. The smoky bottom on those. Love this pink bottom on the, uh, the 10 Galaxies or whatever you want to call them, Mary 72s. Uh, this is uh, LeBron Elites, both right here. Big Bangs, these are from uh, the Area 71 pack. Blazers, really, really like those Blazers. The, the Dunks, which is like the previous year's version of these um, for the, the All-Star game. And then the same for these two, Flight Ones and Air Max. Oh, man, love these guys. These are classic, dude. These are the... the the DeLorean dunks and they're not really clear soles but sort of it's a stoplight look or the the not the stoplight the back of the light of the uh the DeLorean which is back to the future I I say that they need to make a remake of back to the future um 
It would be epic if they did. There's a little bit of clear smokiness to this one, but I added in. This is the uh, the 25 year Air Force One. Really, actually, love that shoe quite a bit as well. You got the fins with the smiley face right here, clear sole. Love these shoes as well. The Hawaii Dunks. You can see there's a little lava look underneath. Could really hard to see it actually, but a little lava underneath there. We have the rice, Kobe's, translucent green. We have the invisible cloaks. Love the translucence on these. Oops, I'm fumbling all around here. And you have the all-star uh, Kobe's from last year. Milky bottoms here. And the only KDs I have in my collection as of right now are the gold medals and clear soles here. And then, of course, the 180s. I, I love these shoes a lot. I, I seriously think this is probably the most underrated shoe of all time. I mean, uh... Or I'm not of all time. I mean, under underrated of, of 2012. This is just a sick shoe to me. I love this shoe. If I I could have doubled up on it, I should have. I really wish I did now, but I don't know. That's pretty much it, though, guys. Hopefully, you guys don't mind the three videos that it took to make this. Man, it took a lot of effort. Now, here's a downside, man. I have to go put them put them back. Got to figure it out because I'm in the middle of the kitchen right now. My wife's gonna freak out if she sees this. <laughs> She's gonna freak out. She's like, "What in the heck are you doing, man?" Um, but anyway, hopefully again, you guys like this video and, uh, definitely took some effort. So again, share it, thumbs up if you guys like it. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you are not watching in 720p, you guys should be, um, as it will be in HD and you can see, um, this stuff a little bit clearer, but, uh, but that's pretty much it, dudes. We'll catch you guys in the next vid soon and we'll, uh, yeah, have a good one.